Well, hey, folks, good evening again. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, welcome to the More Summer 2020 Adventures. This is day 105, uh, the October the 8th, 2020. Um, had a, a rather long day. Um, let me rephrase that. It was a tiring drive. Um, it took uh, a little over five hours to get here, but we had the wind almost all the way. I mean, literally. Maybe uh, out of the, what is it, um, 275 miles, probably 220 of it, <laughs> or 25 of it, we had wind. Um, and most of the time it was a crosswind, so it was... It was it's bucking me all the way. Um, and I, I kind of gather that, uh, and I may have told you all this before. I know I've told some of my friends. Um, back in 2000, I had interviewed for a job. And... Um, And it was, anyway, I, it, the, the, the job was in northeastern Montana. Long story short, uh, we're talking about the winter and, and all that kind of stuff. And the superintendent slash principal uh, told me, he says, well, Jerry, he says, uh, there's one thing that stops the wind around here. I says, oh, yeah? He goes, yeah, the bob wire. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, um, and, and I was thinking about that today as I was driving across Kansas, okay, from the west to the east. Um, we were on uh, Highway uh, 54 and uh, 400 most of the way. Got into Wichita, picked up uh, Highway seven, uh, uh, I-15 for about uh, three miles. Got on uh, one, got on 99, I think it was. Anyway. Long story short, um, this four and a half hour drive was ended up being a little over five, almost six, and then primarily because of the wind. Um, but I was thinking about what what that guy said up there in, in on the Peck Indian Reservation, uh, and I thought, you know, the wind's coming off the Gulf of Mexico, blowing through Texas to Oklahoma, into Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, you know, I says, you know, there, there really isn't anything to stop the wind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there really is nothing to stop the wind. And the way it was blowing today, I could, I mean, it was blowing that hard when we came west to east through Montana and then east to west through Wyoming. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it is a strong wind, okay? But uh, anyway, hey, we're here. We are in Pahuska, Oklahoma, uh, at the Settle in RV Park. And that's S E T T L E I N RV Park. Um, quaint little place. Uh, we got set up and then we took off. Okay, so I haven't even had a chance really to check out the campground, but let me tell you this. Okay. They are wide, they are long, they are gravel, and they are level with a capital L. Okay, um, hey, they are they're they're, they're good. Uh, full hookup right here, you know, thirty one dollars a night. Okay, uh, I don't know where the showers and laundry is. Didn't even look for it. Like I said, we got set up. We stopped by the office there, picked up some brochures of what's going on. And uh, one of the first stops we made was the uh, Osage Indian uh, Visitor Center. And she told us about the buffalo herds and the uh, prairie grass uh, preserve. And we took off. Okay. So we didn't, I mean, we drove down the main street or across the main street or something. Um, saw the mercantile on the way out of town. That's Reed Remins, you know, from Pioneer Woman. Um, 
went out there, saw the Buffalo, saw the Prairie Grass, the visitor center and all that was close, uh, you know, because of COVID. Um, and the lady had said, it's a loop. So after we went to the visitor center and took all the pictures, the Buffalo and everything and all that, we continued around. I thought, well, I'll see more of the reservation. Well, um, 12 miles later, I'm getting this feeling that, you know, this ain't no loop road. I don't know what loop she was talking about, but either I missed the turn or misunderstood her or something. Anyway, so we turned around and came back and it was, uh, we were 54 miles <laughs> from Busk, <laughs> you know. So anyway, we came back in, uh, and it was eight o'clock, wasn't it, Mama? Pretty close to that, eight o'clock, seven thirty, something like that. Uh, the sun had just gone down, so uh, we stopped. There was a you know a restaurant called Pie Town, and we knew it was pizza. So we thought, all right, well, so I made a block, went in and parked. Come to find out, that's one of Reeve Drummond's <laughs> restaurants, okay? Um, you know, wood fire, uh, brick oven, you know, cooked uh, pizza. Really good. Really good, okay? So, uh, you know, we, we we went ahead and ate there. Tomorrow we're going to go back to the Mercantile and do some shopping and... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All that kind of stuff. And then uh, head over to Steelwater and uh, see our granddaughter who's going to school over there. You know, uh, why, I don't know. Um, you know. Uh, but, you know, I mean, she loves music. And that, that I can understand. But why do you want to be a music teacher? Okay. Um, the way things are in education right now. But that's her choice. You know, she's a big girl. Okay. She's a grown up now. She can she can, can figure it out. Okay. Um, best wishes, you know. Um, but having been in the classroom, uh, no, 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 no. I don't wish that on her, but that's her choice. So, okay. Having said all that. Oh, excuse me. I didn't sleep well last night. I slept well. My CPAP machine says I didn't, but I did. Anyway, so I'm a little tired. But, hey, we're going to be here for a couple of days. Like I said, we're going to go visit her tomorrow, but we're going to be here a couple of nights. So tomorrow we'll have some more pictures of uh, Pahuska. We got pictures uh, from Dodge City, you know, through Can uh, Kansas and, you know, and then south, uh, you know, of, of Wichita um, on into Oklahoma here. Uh, you know, so we'll get some more pictures tomorrow of, of the surrounding town. And over in still water, so I'll have some pictures tomorrow. But uh, you know, it was good. And and the buffalo, I mean, uh, they they formed this herd in ninety three, nineteen ninety three. So it's what twenty seven years. Um, and they've got a large herd. I don't know how many they started with. I don't. I don't know. They got from Yellowstone or from Custer State Park or, or where they got the initial, mm -hmm. uh, start of the herd. But uh, it's a big herd. I mean, there was. Uh, three different areas of the preserve um, we found buffalo so you know and and in the fall they do a roundup and, and start culling them out because they keep uh, that way they they keep the numbers low so there's enough feed on the prairie because it's it's the, the prairie reserve uh, folks it's five million acres of tall grass prairie okay and this tall grass prairie, uh, it's almost, uh, some of it was almost up to my elbow, I mean, you know, or my, my armpit, excuse me, my shoulder, um, at least chest high, okay? And in the early days, before this, you know, the settlers actually came across and started, you know, taking the land, these prairies, this, this, this prairie grass and, and the open prairie, extended from the Gulf of Mexico and Texas border all the way into Canada. And now this 5 million acres that they have here is the last and the only that they have left of that vast, vast prairie. Okay. And all the wildlife that goes with it. I mean, we saw, you know, lots of, uh, 
of dove and hawks and eagles and falcons, um, deer, the buffalo, you know, plus uh, ground squirrels and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, running across the road on the way back. Um, you know, so it's massive, massive, but, you know, but we got to see that today. So, you know, and we didn't know about it until we went to the visitor center. So that kind of changed our plans right there. We went ahead and took care of that. So tomorrow we can do mercantile and get over to steel water. But, uh, you know, it was, it's, it's all good. I mean, yeah, yeah, a little bit tired, but hey, you know, it's a, it's a good day. And, and, you know, I was telling Chris, asking Chrissy earlier, I said, baby, I said, did you ever think you'd be in Behuska, Oklahoma? And she goes, not really. <laughs> well, guess what? We're in Behuska, Oklahoma. <laughs> and, uh, I say it's all good. I, I I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the downtown, you know, parking the jeep and and walking and 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 actually being able to explore, uh, and not have to worry about uh, you know running into somebody or something or whatever. I can can relax and enjoy it. So, and speaking of enjoying, you know, hey folks, uh, today's scripture, is, you know, um, enjoy it too because they're all good, you know. And it's Isaiah fifty four seventeen, and I like this. I you know it's. I don't know all the scriptures, okay. I it, you know they're not in, but there are certain ones that that I can affiliate with, okay, and I can 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 resonate with, all right. And this is one of them, and it says, "No weapon formed against you shall prosper." That's a promise. That's a guarantee, okay? And I, I think about that a lot of times, you know. No matter what Satan throws my way, hey, Christ already won the battle. So, you know, it shall not prosper. So, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. It gives me the power to say, no, Satan. Okay? This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Praise God. All right. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. All right. That's a promise. Okay. That's not well. If you if 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 I'm in a good mood, no, no. God doesn't have good, bad moods, you know. He's a loving God. Now does it mean that as our father he won't chastise us a little bit? Did you ever get your backside lit up by your father? Okay. I know I did. All right, but he still loved me. All right, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. You know, that's a, that's a guarantee. You take it to the bank, Frank, because it ain't gonna bounce. Okay, and then the short versions. Okay. Uh, this is the one I posted this morning on, on Facebook. Uh, you know, no weapon f uh, forged against you will prevail. You know, some of the other ones, uh, no weapon that is used against you will defeat you. Pretty sharp, pretty blank, you know. No weapon that is used against you will defeat you. You know, weapons made to attack you won't be successful. Words spoken against you won't hurt at all. And we're talking about a spiritual hurt, okay? People can say things and they can they can hurt to the quick. All right? I know that for a fact. All right? But we're talking in a spiritual realm here, you know, because God will heal that hurt and you will have victory. That's a fact too. Okay? Another one. But in the coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. But in the coming, in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. Mm, mm, mm. I like this one though; I really do. Weapons made to attack you won't be successful. Words spoken against you won't hurt at all. You know, turn it over to the Lord. You know, turn it over to the Lord. Don't hold the grudge. You know, don't hold the bitter. You know. Turn it over to the Lord and just return that bitterness, those angry words, with God's love. And you shall be victorious. It might be difficult, carnally, 
you know, our physical body, it might be difficult. But with God's help, nothing is impossible. Hey, you all be blessed. I know we are. We're in Pahuska, Oklahoma, and looking forward to a great day tomorrow. Good night, all. God bless.